Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. Please take what resonates for you. You can look at your moon and rising signs. All that glitters. All that glitters here. Now obviously the saying is all that glitters is not gold. There's things coming to, to uh, light here. This is like the mask being lifted. The veil's been lifted off of something and you're starting to see the situation for what it really is. A change in the wind. Now there's a change coming. You might be intuitively feeling uh, that you know a person isn't what you thought them them to be, or there's an environment here that's not living up to your expectations. It's things aren't turning out. You're starting to see things or people in their true light here. So there's a change coming in the wind. There's definitely a change in the wind. Flexible. Now what you need to be here is flexible. And flexible is not come, you know, about giving in. Compromise can be getting you onto the right path as well for some of you, if that's what's needed, so that you can go forward. And it's flexibility that's going to put an end to any challenges. It's going to help you to move on. Eggs, new beginnings. So what's the spiritual guidance for this message? There's a change coming. There's definitely a change coming here and you're going to have to be flexible about it uh, because things are coming to light and you're starting to see things for what they are. Chariot cancer energy. Could be dealing with a cancer. Yeah. The fool. The hanged man. The seven of wands. Overall central energy is the moon. This is a revelation. There's a revelation here. The six of cups. The four of wands. The page of wands. The lover's card. Now this can be Gemini energy or it could be choices here. Now there's something that you're starting to see. Like I say, you're starting to see through somebody. You're starting to realise that an environment or the way you're doing things or a situation here isn't serving you well. And it's like the veil's been lifted. You're starting to see things through the your, they're saying here, true eyes. True eyes. I know that sounds strange. It could be truths as well. It could be that you need to, okay, they're saying, you might be needing to admit to yourself the truth about a situation or a person around you when they're talking about see things don't be looking at things through those tinted spectacles. See things for what they truly are. And this is what's the revelation. You're starting to realise things are starting to come to light here and you've, you're going to have to deal with them. You're going to have to deal with this situation. Now, this is about you've been in a situation or environment, however this resonates for you, right? There's no pentacles on this table. So this is about your, it's a revelation and it's about your perspective that's going to be really, really important. You're going to have to make choices here. Now, you could be going towards a new relationship, another relationship, a new relationship. But this is choices and flexibility. You're going to have to look at the bigger picture here. You're going to have to start looking. Whatever this revelation is, you're going to have to look at something from a totally different perspective and make choices over it. Now, there can be a light bulb moment. And I did say earlier, I feel there's an epiphany moment coming. Most definitely. Uh, it's going to be like a light bulb moment and you're going to have to find a way forward. You're going to have to be flexible over it. So it might not be as simple as just I'm out of here, you know, or I'm deciding this or that. Uh, you're going to have to come and go with people um, or find compromises so that you can move forward onto your new inspired path. But you've been in a situation for a while and you've been hanging there in limbo. You can see him doing that. If I say he or she, it's not a gender specific reading talking about the energies on the cards, but you can see him hanging here. But you've gained a lot of knowledge. You're gaining knowledge. You're learning here. This is a learning card. He normally hangs from the tree of knowledge. So you've got, you're learning all the time, but what you're learning here is that the revelations that are coming to light that you're going to have to take action on. So look at the bigger picture here. Look at things from every perspective. Look at how you can resolve things, how you can go forward. There's more than one way of dealing with this that's going to be more productive for you. So an epiphany moment is definitely coming in. You're making choices about the path you're going to take here. This is about taking a leap of faith forward down a new inspired path. So you're being drawn down a new path. It could be towards a new relationship. It could be towards anything new that you're inspired um, 
over. So you've got an incline here that you're in the wrong place, you're in the wrong relationship, you're in the wrong environment, however this resonates. Um, you might be doing something a way that's not productive and you're starting to realise that, so you need to change course. So that you're, you're getting these, insp this inspiration is coming and it's not by accident. It's so that you can take a leap of faith forward and start again. Start from ground zero. So you're leaving all your challenges behind you. You're leaving, you know, all your anxieties behind you, all the people behind you. It could be people, environments behind you, ways of doing things behind you to start on a brand new journey. And we can take this leap of faith because we trust in spirit and our own abilities to create more productive things, relationships, and be in more productive environments. So there's a better path for you. There's a change coming. You've been inspired down a new path. Things have came to light. There's revelations and it's inspiring you to go down a new path to bring in change. Now you're starting to realise this. It's in the wind. It's definitely in the wind. So we need to, don't ignore this. Don't ignore your higher self here. Don't ignore your intuition and don't in, ignore any inspirations you have. Because pages are the start of ideas. So you're starting to get the idea that you need to start on this brand new path and you need to bring in the changes that are necessary for a more productive outcome. Now, when we realise that and we go down an inspired path, there's a childlike joy going to come back into your life. We're looking at the bigger picture. There's revelations here. We're going to feel relieved, almost feel relieved. Uh, you're going to, it's going to lighten the load here. Most definitely. Now, people from your past can show up that you've lost touch with or somebody from a previous life. You believe in that can come back onto your path at this time to help you to go forward. But this is definitely going to move you forward. Once you realise this and this revelation comes, this light bulb moment, you're going to move forward very quickly. And there's no reins on this chariot because you know exactly the path that you're wanting to go down because you're listening to your intuition. Now, this can be a time for you to speak up, stand up, be determined. Don't fight against this. Don't fight against this change. Don't be scared to take that leap of faith forward. You've got the knowledge. You've got the upper hand now. You're seeing things for what they are. You're seeing things through your true eyes, as Spirit would say. Your true authentic self is shining through here. Your traditional values will serve you well. Your boundaries here might be getting pushed. Your buttons might be getting pushed. But this is about a determination, standing up, speaking up here to go forward to create greater stability in your life. Now, if you're inspired to go down to, into a new relationship here, this could end up very stable for you. There could be marriage in the future. There could be children. But whatever your choices are here and your inspired path is, there's going to be a lot of stability in the future and a lot of victory and success will come of it, most definitely. Okay, so change is in the wind here. Oh, there we go. Sacred source. We, your angels, are here to remind you of your magnificence. You are literally an angel in the making, a being of eternal love and light. Forever one with God, Goddess and all creation. The universe is going to support you. We're all part of the collective here. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Let the past go. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. If there's anybody that's been challenging or you've been through anything challenging here, maybe that's why there's a change needed here as well. It's so that you can grow. And these, these people and environments have taught you something about yourself. And I did say here, maybe somebody's pushing your buttons or your boundaries have been challenged here. But that was all part for your soul growth so that you could learn what was for you uh, and what isn't. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.